as these models become more agent-like and able to achieve things uh, more autonomously mm -hmm. than they do today. Uh, that's going to bring, uh, again, more capable systems, but they also uh, have uh, carry more uh, potential for risk. Uh, and I think the way to address that is um, we've got to have, I think, first of all, international dialogue uh, and ideally international cooperation, although that seems quite hard in today's world, but I think it's needed because, um, you know, AI is going to, as a digital technology, won't be just restricted to any borders or it's going to affect, you know, every corner of the globe. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, all the international community has to come together to agree standards about what we should deploy it for and what we shouldn't, what we should use it for and how we should build it. So that would be the ideal. Um, and then also every corner of society, not just the technologists. So, so social scientists, but governments, academia, as well as industry and the people building these systems um, need to all come together. And I think what's been pleasing is the beginning of these international summits. First one was held in the mm -hmm. UK uh, a couple of years ago at Bletchley Park. Um, and the last one was just in Paris. And um, I think we need more of those kinds of dialogues across all these different areas. So everyone can input onto you know, how this should go.